Let me tell you something. Uber would have banned me too because I'd have cocked back and elbowed the shit out of her. I'd have dog walked her all through the Bay Area. everybody it's your boy armand and we are back with another video if you're a returning subscriber then you know how this thing goes and if you're a new subscriber well welcome and hello mother <laughs> all right guys we got to get into some things it's a lot going on but we only got a little bit of time so let's just jump right into it we're going to be talking about kanye west and kim kardashian we're going to be talking about um the the uber it's the uber for me Okay, I wish somebody would cough on me in the Uber, but we'll get to it. Um, and then we're also going to be talking about OG. Oh, yes, we're going to be getting into it. So first, let's get into our first topic. Okay, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. So child, Kanye West has had it. Now, mind you, they I told you guys before on this channel that Kanye West wasn't doing well. Now, I know Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, you know, it's in the headlines that, you know, they are co-parenting very well. Everything is copacetic. Um, this was a peaceful divorce. However, Kanye West very early on, and now this is just coming out, has um, changed all his phone numbers and told Kim Kardashian that he can only contact her through his security. Oh, Yes. Sounds like somebody is feeling some type of way uh, to me. However, even after that, Kim Kardashian allows him to go see the kids. Um, he frequently visits the kids, but he waits till she's gone, okay, to go see the kids. Now, um, he's in his feelings, so he doesn't want to talk to her at all. He's not handling this situation well, but he's still wearing his ring. That's the whole thing. He's still wearing the ring from time to time, but he doesn't want to talk to Kim. So I personally feel like this is going to get very, very nasty before it gets better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Kim is at a point where she's like, all right, well, I have the house. It's going to be a little awkward. It's sad. It's starting to hit her, but she's free and she's rid of Kanye West's internal struggles, internal demons. However, I feel like Kim Kardashian is in a long ride of drama with Kanye West down the line. I honestly do, because I feel like it as it slowly starts to register and register in his mind, he's gonna start doing weirder and weirder and crazy and crazier things. And don't get me wrong, and, and like honestly, I feel like his next album is probably gonna be one of the best albums ever, but it's gonna be a situation where he's definitely gonna be spilling all of her tea. I feel like nobody is safe. I feel like Kanye West is going to be clearing it, airing it, making it rain and clearing it out. Okay, I let it rain, I clear it out. Okay, he's going to be doing the chicken noodle soup all over Kim Kardashian's business, okay? Letting it rain and clearing it out. It's going to be a lot going on with that. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm here for it. Okay, I'm here for a Kanye meltdown because they're entertaining to say the least. Is it unfortunate? Absolutely. It's unfortunate for the kids. It's unfortunate for, you know, the family but if we the people go ahead let it rain and clear it out we're here for the mockery no but in all seriousness <laughs> you know I, I i don't like the fact that they're getting divorced it's unfortunate but i understand that once a person has had enough they've had enough and you know they have to move on it's sad that they can't communicate um that he's changed his numbers and he expects her to communicate through a bodyguard that just doesn't work i just kind of feel like that's a bit absurd to try to have her communicate you know something through your children um through a bodyguard what if something happens to one of them what if, what if there's an emergency she doesn't have your contact information kim kardashian is the one that's predominant with the kids so i think that kanye west has been a little bit immature in this sense um saying that she can only contact him through a bodyguard um it's like i get it you're hurt you feel some type of way you're 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 um you know he's going through it but you know i'm hoping in the future he would man up and give her his number i mean they have three four kids together you're gonna have to talk to the woman it is what it is but i kind of feel like um it, it's a situation where kim kardashian you know She's kind of living her best life and Kanye West is heartbroken, ego broken and mentally broken. So he's just grieving right now. I'm sure they'll have a, you know, they'll contact each other. I won't even be surprised if they do a little drive by smash here and there and ultimately get back together. You know, they'll be spotted together in a year or two. I'll give it two years. We'll be hearing headlines that Kanye West and Kim Kardashian were spotted together in Denver somewhere. You know what I mean? And, they'll, and you know, especially around time when there needs to be a pickup in the show. 
they'll be spotted having lunch at Kim's favorite restaurant or something stupid like that. Or Valentine's Day, he'll do something weird and have Kim Kardashian's name flying in, you know, you know, in the air with you know, some type of blimp or something. You know what I mean? I just feel like this is not over, and I feel like we're in for a saga of entertainment, if you will. So um, buckle up and get ready. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I got on that. And Kanye West, give Kim Kardashian your phone number. I mean, you got kids. You still see the kids. You're still going to the house. So you're going to have to talk to her. All right. I get that it's awkward right now. I probably would be feeling the same way. Not going to lie. But at some point, you do got to give over the digits. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So uh, this next story is about the girl, the Uber girl in the Bay Area. Now, apparently she was out. And <laughs> let me tell you something. The black fishing really has to stop. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but I'm trying to tell you, if you're not from California, you don't understand. But uh, a lot of the Asian, Hispanic, the white girls, they all want to be black girls now. I'm trying to tell you, like, they, they, they get around the black girls and they think that they're black girls and they can say nigga and everything. It's a whole thing. But anyway, that's a conversation for another day. But, you know, I guess because there's not that many black people in the Bay no more, they just figure, hell... Uh, Mexican and, and, and you know exotic white is the new black whatever exotic white is but you you guys will figure that out but anyway um so anywho so the, the girl is three girls in the car or whatever and you know it's the Indian guy doing the Uber you know they're in San Francisco he asked them to put on a mask two of the girls had a mask on thank God the two black girls had on the mask because golly I did not want them to be the fools without the mask however the one black girl was the one with the pepper spray which we'll talk about um so anyway so, you know, the, the, the Asian American Indian guy, whatever, um, he wanted, uh, he asked him to wear a mask as he rightfully so should. And the one girl, she got so upset that he asked her to wear a mask and he basically was going to say, you know, you have to leave. You have to get out the car if you don't have a mask because we're in the middle of a pandemic. So um, she went off on him. She snatched off his mask. She snatched his phone that was recording everything and she went to cop on him like, <laughs> like, and then they were saying, and we have the COVID. They don't fuck the mess. <laughs> fuck the mess. Then I got Corona. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Fuck the shit. Fuck the shit. Oh, oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Don't fuck the mess. 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 Don't fuck the you don't buy it. I bought it. You know I work hard for it. It's not in the middle of nowhere. So, what the hell? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, get it like this. It's just out in the middle of the fucking That's thing. It. Are you stupid? I only have to like do something. Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. Okay, and then when they got out the car, they maced him. Now this Uber driver is fear. He, he, mind you, he has had over six thousand rides under his belt, and now he's saying that he is never probably going to go return to Uber and ride for Uber again. Okay. Now the girl took to her Instagram live, and she t addressed the situation and started talking about how her boyfriend told her to never let a nigga play with her, and if somebody ever played with her, you know she's supposed to smack them, and he lucky that he didn't have this, she didn't have this, that, and the third on her, and blah 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 blah. I mean, just a whole ratchet mess. Now, and then she got into talking about how she. Um, doesn't ride Uber and Uber doesn't get it right. And mind you, Uber has issued a statement and banned her from all Uber. So she can't ride Uber ever again or anywhere. She's done from Uber. So yeah, she gets on there talking about how Uber has banned her, this, that, and the third. And then uh, she says that's why she rides Lyft. And then Lyft came out and banned her too. What an idiot. My boyfriend taught me, he taught me, don't let nobody play with you. Smack the f out them that's what i was taught so if y'all boyfriends told y'all to let this uber let y'all get out the car and get robbed or whatever the f would have happened now that's on y'all <laughs> hell no and he lucky as hell i ain't have nothing on me on mamas because if he would have played with me bruh it would have been a whole different story for real you're not about to kick me out on the freeway i everybody i know 75 percent of people i know would have smacked the sh on mamas that's why I take Lyft. That's why I take Lyft. That's why I take Lyft. 
So um, she can't ride Uber or Lyft. Now, did your boyfriend tell you that, you fool? You know, your boyfriend must be an ignorant fool, too. So I wouldn't get online. Don't get online telling me what your boyfriend told you, stupid. Okay, because your stupid ass is sitting there banned from Uber and Lyft and coughing on people in the middle of a pandemic. And now you're being investigated for hate crime and robbery. What a dummy. And I hope they throw the book at her. She want to act black. They need to give her the book like she black. And I don't feel bad for her, nigga. <laughs> Get her out of here. No, seriously, it couldn't have been me. I'd have slapped the shit out of her. I'd have whooped that white hoe all up and down San Francisco. Absolutely. You coughed on me with the COVID? Oh, I don't, I would, let me tell you something. Uber would have banned me too because I'd have cocked back and elbowed the shit out of her. I'd have dog walked her all through the Bay Area. And I would have drugged those two nappy headed hood rats that she was sitting with. Absolutely. And wouldn't have felt no kind of way about it and dared you to feel some type of way. <laughs> I know you lying. So yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Don't play with me. This is why I don't do stuff like drive Uber. You know what I mean? I don't do a lot of things where I got to deal with people, a lot of the public, all this. I, I just can't do it. So I don't do Uber. I don't do Lyft. I don't do right. I don't drive the train. I don't drive the bus. I don't do none of that. I don't even like to take the bus. I don't like to take the train. I don't like to do none of that because people don't care. People are disgusting. People are dirty. And my patience and, you know, child, I'd be ready to like go off. And I'm just like, girl, I can't I, I can't be in situations like that because people is crazy. And you never know what somebody is about to do or, or got going on. So, you know, for me, just be careful. And, you know, I live for all the Uber drivers out there. Protect yourself. Some of you Uber drivers need to be carrying mace, pocket knives, pistols. I'm just saying, because you might have to turn back and knock a, hey, 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 hee hee ha, hee hee hell. You know what I mean? I'd have back slammed. Ooh, you tell me, let me tell you something. I, I honestly want you to understand if I ever... Did an Uber and 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 and, and the, the lady spit on me like that or oh my god I just can't even imagine it would have been over they would have jumped me they would have pepper sprayed me we somebody would have ended up really significantly in the hospital with the COVID come on you playing like you got the COVID and you coughing on me and you snatching my mask and doing all this oh yeah oh yeah oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, hell no. No, no. You know, yeah, let's move on from her because she didn't trigger me already. I can go on for hours about how to knock the shit out of her. And so, you know, we don't, there's just not enough time in the day for me to explain to you how I whooped her ass all the way from the Bay Area down to the East Bay, down to the Valley, down to L.A. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. All right, moving on. Get your home, girl. Damn, she looked like a thumb. Don't she look like my thumb? That's one ugly woman. But let me tell you something. This is not about the beauty, or this is not about the beauty or the features or the color. I hope that you guys realize that watch the basketball wives on uh, this last episode how trash and garbage and insecure this woman OG is. Many times everybody wanted to make it like, it, you know, it was the feature. I mean, no, first, first it started off with colorism. Then one people were like, well, you know, this is a mixed group of girls and a lot of them are dark, you know, bro. Then it turned into, well, it's the features. Now, where do we go from here? Because people that actually had our back, like Jen, the two new girls, I don't know their names. People that she's living in this house with on this vacation, they're all starting to turn on her because they're starting to see that she's a bit narcissistic. She's rude. She has an attitude. She can say whatever she wants to say, but then the other person says something, then all of a sudden they're a colorist, they're a featurist, and they hate black women. And they're taking the lighter side because they have Western features. I'm not falling for it. Now, a lot of you guys can maybe fall for OG's BS, but here's the thing, OG, okay, so what? A teacher told you that you was ugly and you wasn't going to be nothing because you was dark-skinned and you looked like a monkey. I, you know what I mean? It's unfortunate. It's sad. People get told nasty things all the time. But you cannot take what happened to you in your past and bring that into your present. 
and assume that everybody that does not like you does not like you because you are a dark-skinned woman that's Nigerian. That is not the case. Do people have to think that you're cute? Absolutely not. Do you have very strong mas masculine features? Absolutely. But at the same time, that's not why these women do not like you. These women do not like you because you're rude. You do not listen. You're narcissistic and everything is about you. And OG is the type of person that wants to continuously feel some type of way. There will never be a solution because there always has to be a problem because she revels and survives in chaos and controversy. Could you imagine if OG was like, all right, we all worked it out. Everybody is cool. Everything is great. She falls to the bottom of the list because then, you know, she's just, she's not, she's not that exciting. So the only way that OG gets attention is to play, is to play the colorist card, the featureism card, the, the, the Nigerian, the African woman card, the black woman card. She gets attention that way. If she wasn't doing any of this colorist BS, no one would care. But she has to, she likes to throw the rock and hide her hand. And then when people start to come after her, then all of a sudden, there's some sort of racist. I'm not here for it. This last episode, let me, sh let me see that she was rude and really disrespectful. I mean, Jen tried to talk to her. Malaysia tried to talk to her. Kristen tried to talk to her. Nothing, nothing worked. The other girls, even the, the two new girls went over to try to talk to Shawnee. Came back and was like, "Listen, she really wants to talk to you. Um, I, you know, I think it can be. I think it can work out. Hopefully, you guys get on a better page." OG goes, "I don't need you girls talking for me. Just being very rude, very nasty. She's very entitled. OG likes attention, and the only way that she gets attention is through negativity." And that's where she's that's where she lives. And honestly, I don't even care to talk about OG anymore. This will probably be one of the last videos that I do on her because after last night, she really after the other day, she really proved that she was completely trash. And anybody that stands with her is trash. And you guys are miserable and you must look like her. You know, and you must be just as insecure and jealous. Living living your truth. She needs to live in her truth. She's not living in her truth because this is Pat. This is beyond the color. This is beyond the features. This is honestly about her attitude and her attitude is horrible. She's a nasty person and she's self-absorbed for no reason. And I also think it is funny that J Jen couldn't even get a word out about her own self because OG tried to make it about her and this stupid basketball bag that she's making. Jen, Jen is, first of all, Jen is in the wrong house and Jen knows that she's in the wrong house. You're in the reject house. Jen is in the wrong house. And now Jackie is about to leave that house and go back to the, go to the right house. The two new girls is already ready to turn on OG because they were trying to be cool, but she's just a mess. OG is in a house, all of her, all by herself. And it's nobody's fault, but her own. She doesn't want to have any resolve. She doesn't want to work things out with the girls. She wants to be the black sheep so she can get attention. And so she can holler out and continue to push this narrative to a group of women that support her outside of the show. She's a, this is pandering at its best, just not directly. And you know what? I'm not following for it. I'm keeping my same energy. Is she ugly? She ain't cute. So you can add one plus one and get your two. But at the end of the day, it's not even about that. It's more about her attitude. So the fact that she's not the cutest thing on the block, and she's got a nasty attitude, I'll go ahead and add it up for you. Absolutely, she's ugly, inside and out. How you doing? <laughs> and I said what I said, and I don't give a damn. If you don't like it, bite me. The facts are the facts, all right? So until next time, I want you to keep that same energy, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.